the church is in shock and, and the reason being is that Pope Francis gave the church uh, the permission to sanction same-sex relationship. He approved it. He gave his blessing. Okay. Don't forget the Catholic Church regard the Pope, a, any Pope, okay, in office to be the victor of Christ. Almost like if like Islam, you had uh, Prophet Muhammad and then they have the Khalifa, then someone else comes along and they have they share that same title, although the Muslim world do not like to admit it, okay? Um, but it runs in the same line. And the Catholic Church has a similar system where the, once the Pope dies, someone else works the work up the rank and they become the victor of Christ, if you like, better than Christ himself, okay? Because they then decide doctrine. They decide what is church teachings. Hence why it says the Pope gave permission, not God Almighty, the Pope. He didn't make any references to the Bible. All he says, I now have the power to decree, okay, that you now can marry same-sex couples, okay? But what's interesting is that, as I said, he's going by his power, okay, his power to decide church teachings, church doctrines, okay? So when the church had a meltdown that he gave sanction you know that same you know same sex couple can now marry in church i wasn't i didn't have a meltdown and i will tell you why because in my eyes the pope does not have any power in any way whatsoever from the time you have an institution that promotes Mary worship okay from the time you have an institution where you have people in brazil who can practice voodooism alongside with a black cross and attend mass, no problem. You know you have something wrong with your system. If you look at the Catholic history, especially with the Borgias, where the popes and, and, and you know the, the ranking popes, etc. The priests were murdering each each other, stabbing each other, poisoning each other, having illicit fornication while telling the dumb masses, you know, to be restrained, telling the, the dumb masses to to be holy, to be celibate. And the last thing that they were was celibate. Why were the Catholic Church so corrupt? And I call it church loosely for this simple reason. The, the although they said they come, they came through Peter, when Rome was in power, Rome was in power. They realized, like like um, Rich, Richard Richard Gear, Richard not Richard Gear, sorry, uh, was the multi billionaire um, who owns airplanes, etc. Or oh, what's his name? I'm a fan of his as well. What's his name? Richard Branson. Richard Branson. He owned Virgin, Virgin Records, and he could see the way things are going, social media, and he knew that soon things would be online. So what did he do to come to, to meet the times? He sold off, I think, his shares in HMV because he knew that HMV, you know, shares would collapse as a result of social changes. It's called marketing genius. So he sold his shares and he had a good price for it. And he was right. HMV collapsed the shares. That's what you call being entrepreneurial, being intelligent, knowing, knowing how to make money and move, and move with the times. 
the Roman Empire realized we had to move with the times. And if we want to continue to be in power, not just ma making roles in Britain, straight roles around the world, we now need to control people's minds, people's thinking. What better way than having a theocracy? So they ceased being a Roman political empire, but it became a Roman empire of mind, body, and spirit. They're still Roman empire. Hence why they watered down Christ, watered the gospel. Jesus Christ is no longer the high priest. The Pope becomes the high priest. They introduce Mary worship, worshiping dead saints, dead Peter, dead Paul, Saint this, Saint Peter, Saint Paul. The Bible didn't call them that. But the Catholic Church called them that. Why? It was to introduce a mass global spirituality, demonology, and spiritualism. So when you have a system like that, so corrupt, where you, you, you practice in Archer, paid the Pope millions to, to pay him into heaven, pray him into heaven, paid the Pope millions to, to pray him into heaven. Look, 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 Jesus, say a good word for me. Say a good word for me. You know the system's corrupt. By the time you got the, the Catholic Church selling the bones of, of St. Peter, and they've been selling these bones for 3,000 years, St. Peter must have been a fat man. But this, this is the, the gimmick, the gimmick. But so when they are proving of same-sex marriage and the church is in the meltdown, I don't see. Yes, there are some Catholic, you know, believers who, who, who are honorable. I don't deny that. But as an organization, the Catholic Church is corrupt. It's corrupt. It's Babylon. Promote spiritualism and, and, and greed and, and paganism of the highest order. You know, hence when people say, oh, I'm a Christian witch. Christian, what they mean is, I'm a Catholic. They have no problem being a Catholic and a practicing witch and voodoo. And voodoo. No problem. You have to ask why. What is, it a, what is it a Catholic ritual that the witches and the pagans find so happy to identify as a Catholic and a Catholic witch? I'm, I'm sidetracking. See, it doesn't surprise me that they are blessing same-sex marriage. Why? Because they're not looking at the Bible. They're looking at what the church teaches. The church teaches. I won't mention any name, but one Pentecostal church. Before women, women couldn't wear trousers. Women couldn't wear trousers. They couldn't find it anywhere in the Bible. Apart from, you know, a woman shouldn't wear men's apparel. But no, there's nothing in trousers. Okay, okay, but men make up of things up. Uh, however, um, and the church, or much the name, was losing members. So what did the church do? Panicking, losing checks, tithes. So the church says, the, 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 the um, what do you call it? The conference, the conference said it's okay now. It's okay for women to wear trousers. And they felt sinful. They felt really sinful. Ooh. I've got trousers on. I feel rebellious. You know, the, the conference decided, not God Almighty, the conference decided, the church controls people, not God Almighty. The church de decides doctrines, not Jesus Christ. They always go to the masses and say, this now you can do, this now you can't. So when the Pope blessed these two men, knowing full well what the Bible teaches, did they care? No. Just look at the history of the Catholic Church. Look at the history 
if I, I did do a couple of videos look up Catholic history you know and you will see I did I did quite a few videos if, if I can find them I'll put them I'll put them in the description the Catholic Church is the most corrupt institution look at child sexual abuse rampant and that's nothing compared to what they did in the Middle Ages all these false witch hunt was to get money from from women accused them of witchcraft so the catholic church could be rich and wealthy what she is now attacking vulnerable women and becoming rich from the wicked proceeds while sleeping with witches oh i love history you can tell i've got a whole library in my house whole library if you don't keep your brain lubricated you'll be brainwashed they come along, they can't wait. As the Bible says, make sure you sow your seeds on good ground. Not on fertile ground. Anybody can come along and put their rubbish on it. Now this will happen when you don't study the word of God. You know, I sidetrack again. So, the, the Pope blessing same-sex marriage and the church the meltdown. Who cares? I don't see them as Christians. I don't see them as a church. They are a corrupt organization, just as T.D. Jakes is corrupt. And now it's coming out T.D. Jakes is is homosexual TD I've always known that I'm sure I made a video years ago saying that I've, I've had my suspicion that guy's gay and there's something not quite right about him but no you know oh yeah this person got short hair and would wear a nice suit you must be a good Christian and they get taken in you know as the Bible says have spirit of discernment but most Christians do not because they're religious they're religious anyway i'm gonna stop this it's uh nine o'clock in the morning i haven't slept at all um, last night i couldn't sleep you know i've got some stuff to do and they let me know what what do you think of the pope you know blessing same-sex couples do you approve does your church approve many churches now approve of it many churches the bible says broad is the way that leads to destruction broad and a lot of christians want it christians quote unquote they want that broad way they want to be seen as popular they want to be accepted <laughs>